Hello everyone, The Tectonic here. Hope you're well. I'm about to do a unboxing of the Motorola Atrix which we've just received in. Uh, very excited about this. Um, what you can't see right now is what else comes with the phone that Motorola have sent to us, um, which we'll come to a bit later. But uh, in its curious form, here's the box, here's the phone. Hope you enjoy. Uh, fairly standard looking box, quite reminiscent of um, you know the uh, the smaller boxes that we now get um, since Apple uh, popularised uh, the iPhone packaging. Um, so let's pull this across here, as you can see, and there it is. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to remove this bit at the end here, and I can't. So I'll leave it in, um, but. There is the phone, and it's a very, very good looking phone actually. Um, feels a little bit plasticky, very smooth on the back here. Uh, it, Despite how it looks, it's actually very smooth, and it's actually a pattern rather than, uh, rather than a, um, a textured surface. Uh, the motor blur symbol there and the HD camera but overall it's um, it's a very good looking device um, feels very solid Android buttons at the bottom there it's a 4 inch display here and has a nice design curved on the corners fairly thin uh, will do a full review soon so you can uh, appreciate all the specs of the device. Let's see what else is in the box. Oh, it does pop out. There we are, it's popped out. Okay, so how does this work? Open this up here. What do we have? That looks like the uh, HDMI out cable. Uh, three pin plug. There we go, headset. And some, is that a SIM card? Huh. Okay. Um, as far as I know, it's an orange exclusive. Um, so presumably, the phone's not unlocked. So it's very good of Motorola to send us a SIM card. And that is it. So that's the device. Um, I would also like to show you, actually, the the fairly large box that Motorola sent to us. Um, it was massive, actually, and it contained quite a number of things, which um, which I'd, I'd I'd like to show you. Um, it includes this, which I'll see if I can raise the angle for you there. That looks like a uh, Bluetooth keyboard for the device. Feels a bit plasticky, but it's very thin. Is that a power? S that's a power. Yep, that's for the batteries. It feels very nice actually, um, despite being a little bit plasticky. It's very thin, chiclet style keys. We'll put it through its paces as part of a review. Uh, this looks like a power socket for the dock, the uh, netbook dock, which we'll come to. Motorola sent, also sent us a 
looks like a stand which obviously the phone slots in there it feels very weighty actually uh, this is I, I believe this is the the multimedia stand which gives you three USB ports as well as a micro or mini HDMI socket and what looks like an audio in jack as well feels quite weighty actually um, good in the hand and provides a very solid base for the Sloan to slot in there and that's not all folks we've got a little mouse Bluetooth mouse presumably which goes with the netbook dock and I'm saving that to last because that really is the PS the resistance this looks like more of a, a standard dock for the device you can see that it's just got a micro USB slot there and a look an audio out slot so whereas the first one is more of a multimedia slot or dock should I say this one looks a bit more standard I'm not entirely sure what this is it looks like a Bluetooth remote actually yeah so this is the Bluetooth remote presumably for the netbook dock which I've mentioned about five times now but not come around to showing you I will right now this thing is big there we are I'll raise the camera so that you've got a, a better view look at that uh, and I'm gonna open it up and take a look inside so this is the um, the netbook duck for the Motorola Atrix um, Apologies for the wonky camera, but I've actually had to uh, hold the camera uh, because my tripod on my on my uh, on my camera here isn't tall enough to actually capture the entire thing. Um, but once we open it up, you can see the device here. Now it looks very nice indeed. Feels very weighty. Again chiclet style keys which are quite small actually um, smooth plastic what well, looks like a very large touchpad there's two buttons uh, let's have a look at the ports nothing on the left hand side there two USB ports what potentially looks like the power button or the power port there and there's some grooves on the side here which potentially could be uh, speakers and obviously a very nice display which looks about looks like a 12.1 inch display so this is the um, connector on the dock itself let me just raise that so you can see on the uh, I don't know I'm not entirely sure what the official name for this is um, but the phone slots in just here um, and what we automatically turned to a uh, landscape orientation um, ready for use with the dock itself check out our forthcoming review for uh, more detailed analysis on this I'd like to actually boot up the device itself so you guys can see the, um, the startup uh, animations as well this is the power button here it's slightly recessed into the phone 
uh, flat and very wide. Um, and the reason for that is that it's actually a fingerprint scanner as well. Um, so let's power that on. Hello, that's me in the background there. Um, actually says Motorola dual core technology. Don't know how clear that is for you. Four inch QHD display, front facing camera there. It's a very pretty animation, isn't it? Now, I don't know if you can see, but because it's a QHD display, um, the pixel density. Um, is very very high indeed on this device I think it's a 540 by 960 whereas the iPhone 4 retina display is a 640 by 960 640 yeah Ooh. you can obviously see the multi blur interface there on top of what is Android 2.2 so if we zoom in, give it a while for the auto focus on my, my camera there, but um, I'm not entirely sure you can make it out, but the, the pixel density is very high. And it's definitely on par with the iPhone 4 Retina display.